Trying to get this little pop out of here. Check it out. That one is slightly stuck. I may have to change out the pins in this. I need for this one to come out some. Now it's loose. Almost there. Unwind. Until it falls off. Oh, it's stuck on it now. Oh, come on. There we go. Here's the o-ring right here that has been leaking. And it is pretty hard. Let's see, that right there is a little loose. Oh man, I may have to cut it with a razor to get it out. I don't think it's going to stretch to come out. Nope. That hasn't been changed in a very long time, if ever. I can't even squish it. Wow. Yeah. That's not an O-ring anymore. It's a piece of plastic. That's a new seal that I recently installed, so there's no point in replacing that. Uh, let me change my gloves. That buzzing noise back there is the mid-bearing support. An ultrasonic uh, hot dip for a uh, might paint it. I don't know. I don't know what it looks like.
Looks fine. You have that screw lines up right there. See that there's a an error right there. I mean, there's a little bit of wear, but it really, and even even the outer ring um, fits very snugly in there. So I don't see a reason to put a pump kit in. I just need to clean all this up, put a new O-ring on it, snap it back together after this cover gets cleaned. All this needs to be cleaned. There's also, I don't know if you can see right here, there's an error here and an error there when you reinstall this. That set screw also is a, keeps this from turning, I guess. Yay, I don't need a pump kit. Now I'm gonna take the uh, piston out here in the spring though. Let's, uh, let's do that. Surface tension with that oil in there. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, it's just a little nasty. It's fine, I just put the wrong with it. There's a little bit of scratching on it, but it's not too bad. I see a little bit there and there, but it was a tight squeeze coming out, so now this can get washed and cleaned. I'll we'll clean all the carbon grease and carbon build up there as well on the face. <laughs> 